it's the finale of getting a nook with every single weapon. I'm going to be covering all categories, giving you my favorite loadout, playing as aggressive as possible, and giving a rating out of 10 to each gun. Starting from the best being assault rifles, all the way to the worst being the pistols and the knife. I know this is going to be a juicy one. And sponsoring this juicy video is none other than Call of Duty Mobile. You can check out the best mobile game at the top of the description. Let's go! Starting off with the Type 25, I decided to go in chronological order of how the guns were released to the game. And as expected, the Type 25 did not disappoint. With a chaotic time to kill and extremely good mobility, I got this bad boy in the first game. Yes, so. Next up, I had the M16. People have been saying this is the worst gun since the release. But after a couple of respawns with it, I didn't dislike it as much as I used to. Up close, it's time to kill us crazy. But far away, I'd rather not touch it. What are you doing, Goofy? You're all dead! <laughs> That gun off my list, I went straight in to the AK-117. Rocking the brand new Arch Toxin skin, with dare I say it, a pay to win iron sight. This was another quick tick off my list of assault rifles. Got it! But this is where things went downhill. The AK-47, the ASM-10, and the M4, all back to back to back. The 47's time to kill sucked. Got it! <laughs> SM 10s recoil is pretty much borderline under controllable unless you use a freaking grip. And who uses a grip? Yes, dude, easy nuke. And well, the M4, I mean, it's the M4. It's just average. These three guns alone combined for over three hours, 30 minutes of playtime. Why? This unfortunately was also when my iPad started to randomly crash every single game I got into. Oh my god i'm gonna lose my shit, dude. so i had to replace it with my old one unfortunately for the m4 lk and bk57 the majority of the players were skinless as i forgot to download the resources ah, but that didn't stop me got it in fact the lk skin i had with the diamond camo was pretty sick which kept me satisfied while trying to use it on the floor stay on the grind <laughs> And the BK-57, well, it caught me by surprise. Incredibly fun to use. The kick was extremely manageable. Overall, good gun. Would recommend for an off meta choice. Come on. Thank you very much for the nick, man. Right at the end of the game. Speaking of off meta, that ICR might be the biggest beam AR in the entire game. Oh, okay, I'll take that. It's close range capabilities are the only thing that lets it down. Wow. That range is insane! Which used to be the opposite for the Man of War until all the three shot assault rifles got nerfed and now nobody uses any of them. It really doesn't matter the season though. I used the Man of War for so long that it just feels easy to me when I use it. Yes, got it! Right at the end of the game! Woo! Unlike the KN44, which I never used when it was the meta, I only dabbled in it briefly after an extremely crazy streak where I died one off. Oh my f***ing god! In the next life, I think I may have got the fastest KN44 ranked nook ever. This isn't even fair at this point. Oh my god, how quick was that? I'm still going. Two hours later. What the heck? I don't even know what streak I'm on right now. <laughs> wow. By this point, I had breached over the halfway point. The OG clickbait HBR was meh. Nice! That was my final bullet! <laughs> the HVK needs a mag size buff. Let's go! Right at the end of the game! GG! And the DR Edge, well, it's our long lost soldier, and I miss it. I always love you, DR Edge. 
I got it. Oh my god. Which then brought me to the three horsemen of underrated assault rifles. The Peacekeeper, FR, and AS Val. The PK being good in nearly every vertical. With no hesitation. And no regard for human life. <laughs> The FR giving me a satisfying feeling with its sound that really no other assault rifle can. Got it! And well, the AS Val is just an SMG on steroids, which if you haven't, that you should really try. I got it. I got it already. Oh my god, these guys are getting smoked! After those guns, we were left with three. I didn't enjoy using the AMAX at all. It made me really mad. I was pretty disappointed in how I performed with it, to say the least. Got it! I did not enjoy this gun. Not a vibe for me. But that M13, you already know it's cracked this season. Got it! And that's obviously the reason why it's my second favorite assault rifle. Ending it off with the swordfish meant we basically started with a burst and ended with a burst. Both of which surprised me. It got a buff this season and it's actually really good. Especially with the Hallberg mag. Completely insane. Holy! I'm not stayed. What a way to wrap up the assault rifles. With all 20 assault rifles complete, I was glad to see them go. The Type 25 being my favorite and the ASM-10 just being terrible. However, what's not terrible is the RUS. Our first gun of the SMG category and day two. This thing, an all-time good weapon in the game. It's never been the best, but it's never been bad either. Meaning that I was able to secure the nuke quickly. Got it! I decided to scrap the chronological order as using the chicken as my second submachine gun would make me want to die inside this early on. Literal piece of trash gun. I instead went with the PDW. Building it like an assault rifle, I made quick work of the opposition. Got it! Nice! But not as fast as the MSMC, which happened to be in the same exact game. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That was some pretty aggressive gameplay, if I do say so myself. I then went on to use the HG40, which I again could build like an assault rifle, which meant less risk to my life as I was able to take gunfights further away. All positions locked down. All positions yes, sir. Sealing the deal without any hiccups very quickly in the match, I went on to use another assault rifle built out submachine gun, the GKS. I love this thing. It is versatile and great. Bodies just started racking up, and within the same game, we got it. Yes, dude! <laughs> The AGR was an interesting one because that gun's not actually very good, but it is exciting to use. Losing alpha. Got it! <laughs> Report me for cheating! Followed by the old meta QXR. Got it! Even though that was terrible accuracy, I still got it! And a fairly decent bison. We were able to wrap up things with the first half of the SMGs extremely efficiently. Come on. Got it! However, at this point, with the Razorback coming in, I was feeling pretty fatigued. Remember, I was recording all this on back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back days, and I knew I had a mountain to climb with still over 40 guns to go. This gun has literally no recoil, so it was pretty simple. Got it! Again, taking the no-risk approach, the Cordite fights were taken from long range. Targets in and I got my nuke. Straight after it, however, I couldn't really do that as I decided to go with the QQ9. This required fast paced, aggressive gameplay, which didn't really work out for me too well at the start. But as the sun came down for the day, I secured it. Enemy down. Yes, Sersky! <laughs> Knowing just how good the CBR4 and MX9 are, I decided to go for another double. The CBR receiving a buff in this update, I think it actually might be pretty damn useful. A quick first half, and it was done. Capturing Alpha. Got it! Let's go! But the MX9 had just begun. Even though this bad boy received a nerf recently, it's still a star in the SMG category. I got it! Let's go! Unlike the chicken, yeah? This wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy myself. And I always say, I'll never use these things again. And I always seem to do it. Well, at least I got through it. Got it! Let's go! Changing back. 
from the second to last, you may be surprised that I kept the Finnick. This gun's actually really good. It's just difficult to get a nook with it as it's unreliable anywhere out of really close range. So I had a tough time dealing with this gun. Yes, I got it. Nice. Woo! In fact, the last place, the Faro, was actually easier for me to use. I don't understand why, and I have no explanation for it. Yes, dude. All the SMGs are now complete. But that wrapped up day two and every single SMG, which meant we were over halfway through this challenge. By the time day three rolled around, I was slightly fed up with this challenge. But I started the LMGs with the S36. Impressed by its recoil, the gun was actually pretty good. Let's go, dude! But nowhere near as dominant as the RPD. When we talk obliteration, the RPD does it right. The stability of this particular big boy is unprecedented. And you should definitely try it out. I got it, dude. This gun is nuts! The chopper and the heads are both really, really similar guns. That's what I'm talking about, boy. They're kind of quirky, but their hip fire ADS is more so a gimmick rather than a thing that makes them really good. Got it. Let's go. Woo! Which is different to that of the Holger as it's just really good. And since I'd never used the default iron sight before, I decided to give it a try. Got it! Let's go! It's definitely not as good as the Mythic, but it's not that bad. Because when I think of bad, I think of the M4 LMG. I don't care how many of you guys say that this gun's decent or good. It's just, it's no. Stop. Got it! Let's go! I did not have fun using this, but it was nowhere near as annoying as the UL LMG. This thing made me want to throw up, mostly because of the fact I was not using an ammunition attachment, and it meant that I only had 30 bullets in a magazine. So I just kept dying and dying and dying and dying. Oh my god. And I believe this is the start of where the challenge got extremely hard. And there we go, dude. Finally, I got it when I put on a magazine attachment. And then it was time for the brand new LMG, the PKM. To be honest, I didn't really know what to expect from the PKM. But I was pleasantly surprised using it. It is fun. Fantastic. A joy to use. A lot of vertical recoil, but if you can control it, it's devastating to the opposition. What the? Yeah. It's insane. Oh, might as well call in this nuke. With all the LMGs done and dusted, I moved my way on to the sniper. Of course, the SVD would be my first choice, as it's currently my favorite one to use. Its one-shot kill potential is incredible, and its fire rate is really something special for a sniper as well. Got it! Let's go! After a swift game with it, I transferred my talents to the DLQ. I think everyone knows what I can do with this gun, so I don't really need to explain how much I like it, but it's amazing. Got it! Let's go, dude! After these next two guns being the Locust, which I had a pretty decent time with using the stopping mag for a change. Get down. <laughs> he said, I can't let you. <laughs> and the Arctic, which I pretty much just hard scoped across the map many times. Let's go, dude. We got into guns that were a little harder to use. And from here on out, this entire challenge got incredibly difficult. The rag tech was giving me all sorts of problems, and I have no idea why. When I first used this, I actually loved playing with it. But after this run, I don't like it at all. Got it! On to the next one. <sighs> the EBR basically speaks for itself. Oh my freaking god, bruh. It's really tough to use. It's like a terrible SVD. You can never get one shots unless you headshot. Oh, I finally got it, thank god. Oh, I'm so happy. Get this out of here. And don't even get me started on the outlaw in this meta. It's like using a pea shooting sniper against some of the fastest killing guns ever released. No thanks. Not again. Got it. Oh, you thought it was done there? I don't even want to talk about the XPR and the NA45. That is how much I hated my life using these weapons. Woo! But I still got it with both. Enemy 
I got it. That was my final bullet. I have no ammo. Wait, my teammate got a nick too. What the heck? Double nick? <laughs> and after, we moved on to the shotgun. The second to last primary weapon category. The 515, of course, being one of the best shotguns in the game, led me into a good start, giving me momentum and allowing me to push forward with a positive mindset. Standing by. Pick it up. Yes, sir, Ski. Rip. After the buy, however, I went down an excruciatingly painful path of getting 19 kills and choking one-off nukes with the KRM <laughs> and the R9. Both of these shotguns are insanely good. Arguably the best too. For some reason, I was choking. However, after a couple of hours, I was able to tick them off my list. Ooh. Yes, sir! Got it. Oh my God, holy! And on the back of the KRM streak, I was able to follow it up with the XS0405. This arguably being one of the best shotties since its recent buff made it a breeze. Close quarter killing was clean and I used my movement to my advantage. What was that lag? What the heck was that? I'll take my nuke though. <laughs> I had some difficulty with the Echo, but it, the Striker, and the HS2126 were dusted in record-breaking time for myself, which I was pretty damn excited about. Got it! Woo! Yes, we got it. Nice. Woo! Got it. So with the shotguns now ticked off, we can move on to the marksman rifles, which actually surprised me a lot. They were a ton of fun. With the kilo starting out, I felt confident. I just came off a bunch of shotgun nicks, and it was looking bright going into high rise. A couple of long shots and a nice no scope set me up great for the streak. Of course, I got it. And got it. On to the next one. One thing that was different about the SPR though, I used a red dot. I've never done it before. And in my opinion, the gun's actually way better with it. You should definitely try it out. It's a weird experience having a red dot on what seems like a sniper. But once you get used to it, it's fire. Oh my God. Nice. We got it. Woo! The MK2 with the legendary skin also zoomed through. Oh, okay. I got a dumpster lobby and it was easy. And we got the nick. But none of these marksman rifles were as impressive as how fast I got the SKS. Now hear me out. The SKS is one of the best guns in the game. But if you're not impressed by this. Oh my God. Or that. Or maybe this. I don't know what's gonna impress you. Barely over one minute was the time to get that. Insane. Now, however, we had to move on to the pistols. Let me just say that this challenge literally took it out of me. I mean, I was playing 12 hours a day pretty much the entire week. Starting off with the j 35 b I had fun. I love this gun. It's a blast from the past and hit me with a good nostalgic factor. Nicked it, let's go. But it wasn't as good as the 50GS, AKA the Deagle. I swear this thing was handcrafted by the gods of pistols when they decided to add it into the game. Unbelievably good. Got it. Beautiful. One that's maybe not as great, but still okay after the buff is the MW11. It's respectable. It can be used as a sniper secondary substitute if you don't want to use the Katana, which you probably should anyway. Slap a couple of good attachments on it. You'll be good to go. There we go, brother. Woo! The Renetti, unfortunately, is something I've had trouble with. Similar to the trouble I've been having with shaving throughout this challenge. This is what I look like at the end of the challenge. And this is what I look like at the start. I'm not a fan of the Renetti. And I'll probably stay away from using it from now on. At least I secured it, though. There we go, dude. Another gun that I am pretty solidly sure that I will stick away from is the crossbow. Nope, not going anywhere near it. Yet this gun absolutely despised the weapon. There's just no use for it. You miss every shot. It sucks. It's terrible. Don't go anywhere near this thing. I promise you, you won't enjoy your life. Bang. I got it. Nice. Let's go. Yay! Unless Shorty, on the other hand. Oh, that thing was blessing. Respectfully, still TSD to use. Hit marker galore sometimes. But if you can get that sweet spot, you're going to want to use it. Got it! Woo! 
finally, at the end, I could use the knife. <sighs> Sigh of relief being able to say that this is done. I mean, just listen to it. Got it. Oh, it's finally over. <laughs> Here's all the weapons, rated in a score of how fun they were out of 10, the total time for each category, and the time total. Yep, I really did spend that amount of time playing this game just for this video. Subscribe!